Yeah, it was uh, 2008, I believe. So we'd had the hut about three or four years, and um, we that, there was a terrible um, flood um, that November. I think it was November time, um, <clears throat> and uh, we sort of um, were wondering if everything was okay. And someone phoned us in the morning and said they walked the prom and. They wondered where our hut was. They, they said, you know, we can't see it. And I thought, well, that's a bit strange. And I thought about bad luck because when we got down here, there was loads of huts all over the place. But there was four huts together. And that was up in the days when they used to, we used to have them up near the Great Charlie Manor. And um, <laughs> the incredible thing was, when I got there, the three huts was, you know, were against the, the, the back of the prom, where my hut was, which was in the middle. And it was like an Exocet rocket just just targeted mine because it that just wasn't there. <laughs> all the others were still sitting there, but mine just disappeared. And all that was left was a big old bar that I put across the front to keep it secure. And it was absolutely little. And and it was actually in the um, it was actually in the Evening Star, a picture of the Evening Star of it. Because someone at work said, "Well, look in the Evening Star." And when I looked at it. And, they, they say your hut is in there, and when I looked at the picture, my hut wasn't there at all. It was just this bar and a bit of wood that was attached to it. So it must be floating out there, you know. Sort of. But yeah, that was that was quite comic. Well, it weren't comical, but I just couldn't believe that four huts all together, side by side, hadn't even moved, and mine had completely, boom, God, had it.